All right, guys, what's up? It's 1904 Comics. It's Wednesday, new comic book day. But I mean, guys, you already know. Three, four, five, six. I got seven books. Two of them are number ones. I got a stack of back issues I want to show you. Half of them are older back issues. The other half are newer stuff. And I got a beat up trade. So let's get into it. Batman Eternal, number 50. Pretty nice cover. Digging it. Batgirl in the game, tie in. Now, I tweeted out earlier that her hands look pretty big. And then Mac Hammer said her head, her forehead, looks huge. <laughs> so, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Tweet me. What do you think? That her hands look huge and her forehead look big? Because <laughs> uh, me and Mac Hammer thought so. Here's Invisible Republic. I went to my shop. I wanted to pick it up. They didn't have any more. So when I got to the counter, I asked Bonnie... Um, she ordered me one, so she's like, nah, we have some. She went to look, they didn't. So she went got to the front again, she called the other shop, that's like five minutes from my house, if that, but I don't like going there. And she asked them if they could send her a copy of Invisible Republic, they said, yeah. She went to someone else's pool, pulled it out for me, she's like, here, take this one. I was like, looking at her, she's like, ah, he likes Hulk, he can wait. <laughs> so I guess she don't like Hulk. Now I know. Here's the outcast, number seven. I want to see what happens to that dude in the prison or jail, whatever he's in. Alex plus Ada. I just got into this book, and from what I hear, it's ending on issue 15. Don't know 100%. Here is Ninja Turtles number 44. And Frankenstein Underground number one. Now I read it. And for some reason, I was I was expecting more out of it, to be honest. I mean, it was cool. It was good. But I was expecting more of the art. It's a Magnolia art, so it was nice. Um, basically, like, the first half of the book, they show Frankenstein different time periods. And each period, they showed him, like, treated a different way. So, that was cool. Then, like, the other half is, like, the normal time. It takes place in Mexico. So, it was interesting. But... I was expecting more to be honest, but it was still okay. Let's go on to some of these back issues and make sure they're all fixed. All right, here we go. Batman 436. Now for my back issues, I like to go to another shop here in San Diego because any mainstream character you won't find at my shop for under uh, like three, four bucks. Dollar bins, you won't find a Batman, you won't find Spider-Man, nothing like that. You're going to pay $4 at least because there's only two shops within like a 30 minute drive from where I live. And they're both the same franchise. So, yeah, they screw you. So I go to this shop because it's 12 for 10 bucks, So like 80 cents each. So uh, here's Batman for 42 at my shop. Like I said, it's like a $4 comic. Here's Batman for 47 Batman 448, Batman 449, 456, 458, 509, here is 543 boom 620 whoa 624 oh come on glare go away 625 636 and 658 we got two annuals. Annual 14. Two face, pretty cool cover. And then annual 20. And then this was in the middle. I thought it was to one, you know, one of the other uh, Batman or the Batman Cyborg, but it's Batman Detective 615. So yeah, that got snuck in there. Then let's continue. 
once again, a bunch of dollar or 80 cents a piece. Chew, 33. Chew, 34. And 38. Now, I like Chew. I got the first two or three trades. And then I just forgot to pick them up. So when I was there, I'm like, I don't see the guy any Chew. It's the only ones they had. Here's Aquaman. I have the first like two, three trades of this as well. I like it. So I'm gonna continue trying to pick up the singles. Here's a 22. 27. Whoa. 28. Being chased by Jaws. And then 29. Here is Oz. Now, I've, I've been wanting to try this. I know, um, you know, Scotty Young does this. So the art's pretty cool. And um, if you read it, if you have the Omnibus or any of the trades or whatever, let me know how it is. Kind of interested in it. Pretty cool cover. This is the second printing for that one. I just picked it up to try it out, see what it looks like, and just get a feel of it. But like I said, if you have the trade or the Omnibus or something like that, let me know. What do you, what do you think of it? So I could maybe pick it up. BPRD. Someone told me to read this. Um, I think it was uh, Bat Freak. Can't remember 100%. I remember someone in the comments said I should try some BPRD stuff. And um, they had a bunch there. And you know, for 80 cents, why not try it? I got 105 through 115. 107. 108. Whoa. 109. 110. 111. 112. 113. 114. And 115. Boom! That's it for uh, back issues. Put that away. And like I said, I got a what do you call it? A little trade mouse number two. Um, yeah, it's beat up. Check it out. Someone dropped some soda. I don't know what that is. Like the first 20 pages or so. Got that little weird. What do you call it? waving it but um so yeah basically those pages right there oh that one too maybe more whatever but yeah you guys get it <laughs> um i did a trade video if you're interested in trading some books go check it out um like i said i'm trying to get some bat books you got bad related anything, I'll probably trade you. I don't care. <laughs> um, some other stuff I'm trying to get holes filled. Maybe you got stuff and you know you got those issues I'm looking for, but you don't really care about the title and hey, you don't mind giving them up. Cool. So just go through that video, check out the crap I got, and um, let me know what you're interested in, and I'll let you know what I'm trying to get. So check out that video. Anyways, guys. Peace out, like, subscribe, share, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of Oz if you read it. Alright guys, laters.